to me, Sea of Thieves is basically every pirate show or every pirate film you've ever seen that you can actually play, you can be immersed in, and you can be the pirate you want, right? I think that's the promise of the game for me. Yeah, I think so. I think it's like living, living the pirate life is, is kind of how I describe what we're trying to achieve, that we want players to be able to like really immerse themselves into what it's like to be a pirate, whether that's the sailing or the fighting or the drinking or the camaraderie in a crew. We want to kind of give players all of that kind of pirate experience in kind of one game. It's basically the freedom to do what you like. I mean, as, as a child, I used to love going on adventures. And to me, that was like kind of with, usually with a bunch of friends. And, and if I could get other people to kind of come with me, we'd have like rival dens. So it's almost like rival crews on the ship. That's what adventure is in this game. It's just, just island hopping or, or just kind of sailing wherever you want, kind of either following a map or not following a map or just kind of doing what you like. It's this world you can just, it's go adventuring in, you can choose your own goals, but it's always that magic of when you see, it, see that set of sails on the horizon, it's another player or another group of players and you don't know what they want. I mean, players have almost really grasped, it's almost like they can almost see our design document or our, our ideas of things we want to implement. I think the theme gives you that though, right? Yeah, I think it's it does. Like... It, it, it does just write itself. It's like, will there be a kraken? <laughs> yeah, of course well, uh, there'll be a kraken at some point. Can I go on quests? Yeah. Can I go and seek yeah. treasure? Can I go and hopefully, you know, fight other ships? It's yeah. just generally, I think, yeah, you all of those things you kind of expect. Yeah, I there, think right? players expect um, from other games is kind of a big presence of AI where there's like, like legendary pirates that we put in the game and they're controlled by AI and you come across them and, and maybe interact with them, but that's that's not our game at all. And we, we've always wanted the players to be the legends, so to me that is where we're really different and where all the speculation around kind of the AI characters is, is off the mark. It is always online, right? But um, if players want to go adventuring in that world on their own, that's definitely a kind of um, a possibility for those guys, right? Because we know that it's an expectation sometimes you don't want to necessarily socialise with other people or your friends aren't online or you just want to just nip in there and just have a really kind of different, unique experience. I think that's, that's the, the unpredictability that sometimes you'll see nobody, sometimes you might see another ship, sometimes you might come across two or more ships in, in, at one time. I think yeah. I think that's the, uh, the really interesting bit about how we're handling the online experience. I think the biggest thing that kind of differentiates ourselves from an MMO is the, is the word massive, yeah. where we, we're not a game with a massive number of players, because we want every encounter to, between players to feel really personal and special. It's like a big event when you see another ship. It's not, it's not like a boating lake where there's like hundreds of ships with thousands of players all sailing around. It's what happens between the ships as a result becomes memorable, because you, it's not happening all the time. You, you're not guaranteed to bump into players. So as a result, you all, you kind of remember the stories that happened between the ships and what happened. So an MMO for us is a memorable multiplayer online nice, game. Nice, very that nice. It? Yeah. <laughs>